His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu has finally called upon the supporters of NUP and change-seeking Ugandans across all social media platforms to stop abusing other opposition players in the struggle for change. Now, in other news, uh, President Museveni's son, Jeno Muhozi Kainerugaba, has finally been summoned by parliament. I have the details. These two ministers will, will come here with their officer, uh, Muhozi Kainerugaba. A very good morning. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Buzz UG. And just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly tap on the subscribe word on your screen and do not forget to tap on the bell for all the notifications. I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Now, going to the details of the stories I got for you this morning, uh, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, and the entire leadership of National Unity Platform has called upon their supporters on different social media platforms to stop abusing other opposition players. Bobby Wine was speaking to all their flag bearers for Member of Parliament across the country yesterday in Ginger City. Now, Bobby Wine said if they really want to be seen as leaders, not dictators, they should stop seeing other opposition players as enemies. Other opposition political parties are not our enemies. I see it sometimes when somebody that you know is actually opposition, all they say they are opposition, making an enemy of a comrade that is equal in the struggle. I know it happens with other political parties, but like I said, let us offer leadership, let us be the leaders. If we don't, then we will be the problem, and the problem will be the leader. Now, Bobby Wine's call comes just a day after Dr. Kiza Besije was abused by a section of Ugandans on social media and calling the demonstration he recently staged against the skyrocketing commodity prices as a diversion. Uh, relatedly, Bobby Wine, with his own voice, has responded to the attacks. Motivational speaker Mr. Franga Shumba recently launched against him and the entire leadership of NUP. Now, Bobby Wine says President Museveni and his cronies have tried to call them many things like violent, tribalistic, and other things just to put them down, but all have failed to work out. Uh, it should be remembered that recently, Mr. Franga Shumba and former Kampala RSCC, Mr. Hood Hussein, revealed that Bobby Wine's party, NUP, is funded by NRM, a project that started in 2019. Now, Bobby Wine says, instead of President Museveni disproving whatever they are talking about as opposition, but he's busy sending his agents to come and lie to people that Bobby Wine works for him. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Well, there you go. That is the president of NUP, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, a.k.a. Bobby Wine. Now, in other news, last week, former Kawembe South Member of Parliament, Honorable Mubarak Munyagwa, requested Parliament to summon President Museveni's son, Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba, to come and explain why he's turning political, especially on his Twitter, and yet he's still a serving army officer. Zengangawaguru, Njagalokusawa Parliament, Madam Nambozi, Mkumanyiga, Tiatia Viduduma, Navaral. Mwemweka, Tabija Government, Tusigaza. Awali Kaimini, Takaizo, Kuita Mujeno Mohozi, Musamoni, Mbuzi, Vichibi, Akola. Atimulabu wangamuza mwoda. 
pate za kola zili kulia musiru kwe. Tweet za wele za kulia musiru kwe. Noge na majafu ajemu group etambule na yenga kwa agenda kalage kwa kura rallies kwa gala kwete kila kulia musiru kwe. So na ada adensa madamu na mbozi. Buge ende kufuro ya pali ya menti nkusaba. Muitemu. Si manyo mwiza chikola. Kumamu komiti ya defense I don't know. But muge ende mwinga pali ya mtu yambe. Muite jeno mhozi. For disciplinary you know. I don't know. For, maybe for a deep belief. Musoke mbozi chishali kumu mbozi chibi ya chishaprani. The latest news I have on the buzz UG in case that Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba has been summoned by the Government Assurance Committee chaired by Mukono Municipality Member of Parliament, Honorable Betty Namboze. But now that we are aware that you can allow your soldiers to go in the public and celebrate their holidays, their birthdays, do you think that is sustainable? Suppose as officers now start coming up with similar programs, what are you planning to do about that? You remember what he commented about the people in the, the Tigray people in Ethiopia who have become a problem with the Ethiopian government appearing to be supporting them. He's running politics. I think you will not remember, Minister, can you clarify that? He's doing politics, yet he's a serving soldier. However, General David Mohozi, former CDF, tried to defend himself, but it did not take too long before the chairperson of the committee, Honorable Betty Namboze, ordered that General Mohozi Kanerugaba should appear before the committee on Thursday next week and explain his side of the story. Uh, it's only fair that we don't condemn someone without giving him a hearing. Uh, and I'm going to ask the clerk to put it in writing uh, that this, these two ministers will will come here with their officer, uh, Mohozi Kainerugaba, on Thursday next week. To do what? So that you also get heard. May I know what kind of assurance, where it is related to, to the assurance? The assurance related to him is, he, using his Twitter and talk in the media, that he's going to visit Kalamoja with hell. The Honorable Chair, no, no, first of all, as I said, this is, you are quoting, I'm sure, from nowhere, from the social media, so it's not, I think, evidence enough to pin him. Second, but Madam Chair, you are saying that he is being quoted. Being quoted does not really implicate a person being talked about. I, I personally read his tweet that is going to visit Kalamoja with hell. Are you people distancing yourselves from a message got from one's Twitter? He has not come out to distance himself from that. Well, there you go. That's what transpired in that meeting. However, no one knows if Jeno Mohozi Kainerugaba will show up on Thursday as directed by the chairperson of the committee, Honorable Betty Namboze. In other news, the Ministry of Transport and Works, headed by General Katumba Wamala, has suspended the ban that was recently put on Link Bus Company after the accident that left 21 people dead in Fort Porto. Now, while addressing journalists yesterday, General Katumba Wamala said all Link Buses have fully been inspected and they can now return back on the road. <laughs> No kutu owe ya mu, tevidya kuda mu masu. Tu saze o ti link bus, ne wangu madde na kwe madde bula anga satu nyam, baso bolo kuda mu kola. Shtegeza link bus katu yutadde, baso bolo kuda yo kumulimu. Now, the leadership of Link Bus Company has also welcomed government's program of installing cameras in every bus for easy inspection on the road as another way to prevent accidents. Government in a system jaya galo kutandika, system ueno etunulira eneisa ya driver. Mateka mu camera mu basi, newanga bamu following throughout the journey. Katifenga link bus, kwa kiriza bus za fe, tubenda ziwa ayo, but I like it as well. Then Navarala was so lucky that we had a third day of a Kachiko cover driver, Kaliko was senior drivers. Of course, same pizza, but driver Navarala to so vida. Gaba driver Kwanga, but my nigga Nibulunji, Pagala Velkolemo, Omurimo, Oksovola, Oka, 
kanga bulabu nabanga chabavu gabulunji well, that's all I got for you this morning, but I'm still around gathering more stories for you. Uh, just in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Remember, I told you, you got the buzz, you got everything. Thank you.